So my name is Richard Utieno, Head of Department of Orthopedic and Trauma Medicine. We offer three programs. Uh, the first one is Certificate in Orthopedic and Trauma Medicine, which is a two-year program, uh, full-time. Uh, the second program is Pre-Service Diploma in Orthopedic and Trauma Medicine, which takes a duration of three years and it is full-time. The third program is an upgrading uh, diploma course in Orthopedic and Trauma Medicine, which is a distance learning um, it takes two years. Now, um, the key modules, I'll take you through each program. Certificate program, we have basic sciences, which includes anatomy, physiology, pathology, material science, psychology, community health. Um, then we have technical uh, modules, which includes trauma, uh, we have orthopedics, we have casting techniques, we have traction techniques, have orthopedic nursing, um, and many others. Uh, uh, then we have practical. Practicum is the key module in this particular course, which is undertaken at the hospital setup. Uh, mainly uh, referral hospitals, county hospitals, level four, level five, level six. Those are the areas where you had get trauma cases, which is high, you need a high volume health facilities with trauma cases. For diploma, we also have basic sciences. That includes anatomy. And anatomy is the main module for this particular cadre because the training mainly targets the musculoskeletal um, system. So anatomy becomes very key for this particular program. The other module we have physiology, pathology, we have community health, we have psychology, we have communication skills. Uh, technical subjects for diploma, um, we have traumatology, orthopedic, we have orthopedic nursing, we have general surgery, general medicine, pharmacology. Then the third module is practical, where at the point of training, the site of training, they undertake practicum at the nearby health facility, which takes a whole semester. Then the subsequent semester in their final year, we take the students outside in the county hospitals for experience for which takes, again, three years. At that time, also, they undertake research where they do data collection, which is hospital-based. Um, placement sites, I've also talked about this, that placement sites, we target referral hospitals. That's level six hospitals, level five hospitals, level four hospitals. The particular hospitals must have high volume of trauma cases. Because as you notice that in our setup, we have a number of trauma cases that arise from motor vehicle accidents, motorcycle accidents. We have cases like falls, particularly the children who fall from a height, maybe a tree, maybe a, a high building, which eventually they end up with trauma. Industrial accidents, very common, uh, which eventually land in the hospital, and uh, that's where the students also get a hands-on experience to handle trauma cases. Assault cases, particularly domestic uh, quarrels, which end up with uh, physical injuries and end up in hospitals. So these particular students also have a nice experience engaging with the various types of trauma cases. The role of this CADA at the certificate level, majorly they have an active participation in management of trauma cases, which is non-operative, particularly 
uh, reduction of fractures, reduction of dislocation, and soft tissue injuries. Remember when somebody has a fracture, it is important that you align that bone so that the patient does not end up with disability or even a fatality because there are cases where you find uh, the accident is so serious, there is multiple injuries that you need somebody who has a background of management of trauma cases. And this is where also we take them through what is called trauma life support, which is more or less the same as first aid. That it is not just at the hospital setup where they handle these particular uh, cases, but they also at the community. At the road, uh, road, road traffic accidents where the are part of the team, the ambulance uh, emergency uh, team that rush to accident site and they know what to do, the do and don'ts at the accident site, which is very key. Um, mainly when you look at the scenarios that take place in serious accidents, many times we lose our patients at the site simply because the people who manage these patients who don't have a good background of management of trauma cases. And this is where now, us as an institution, we train this middle level cadre to uh, avoid disabilities which may come along with trauma cases, prevent fatalities which may also come along uh, such accidents which take place at the industrial sites and at the road traffic accidents, which I'd mentioned, this includes motor vehicle accidents, which is very rampant in our country. Now, at the hospital setup, as I mentioned that we mainly take them in the level four, level five, level six hospitals, which have uh, high trauma, high volume trauma uh, cases, particularly where they work, they work at accident and emergency site. Remember when patients come, particularly patients who have been involved in an accident, they are first taken to accident and emergency unit, where this card play a significant role in management of these cases. In the wards, also they take part in management of orthopedic and trauma uh, patients in conjunction with orthopedic and trauma surgeons and general surgeons. They also uh, work in a uh, orthopedic clinic where they remove cast. Patients who have been applied cast, they do remove. In theater, particularly orthopedic theater, they also assist surgeons in management of orthopedic and trauma cases. In the community also, this particular cadre, they are very useful in educating the community, particularly in regard to preventing injuries. And even those who have injuries, uh, there are certain communities where you find when somebody gets injuries, musculoskeletal injuries, they don't go to hospital. Perhaps they'll uh, go to and seek um, treatment uh, among the herbalists, or bone setters, which are very common in certain communities. But what we have noticed that these are not the best approach in terms of uh, managing trauma, because many times you find that these uh, patients, they end up with disabilities, which make them disabled, and they cannot do normal things uh, uh, that are required. And so, uh, the, 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 the cadre, the, the, the people who qualify under certificate or diploma, they go to community to educate our community. They go to schools, they go to church to provide health education as far as orthopedic and trauma is concerned. Job opportunities are quite widespread. We have government, both at the national level, at county level, which takes quite a big percentage of this particular cadre. We have non-governmental organizations, which also provide job opportunities for them. 
We have faith-based institutions. We have private hospitals. Um, also, they can self, they do uh, pro, I mean, uh, self-employment, entrepreneurship, and that is one of the th training which we take them through. That after finishing their training, they can set up their own orthopedic and trauma uh, sites that they provide uh, management of trauma cases. And we have seen quite a number of people who have done this way and they have been quite successful. Professional progression, as I mentioned earlier that we provide three programs. So those who have done certificate, they have an opportunity to upgrade a diploma in orthopedic and trauma medicine, which they take two years. And that's why the freshers from high school take three years, but for those who are doing upgrading, the time they take is shorter, it's two years program. And again, the advantage, it is not full-time, it is distance learning, uh, which majorly incorporates uh, e-learning and face-to-face -face teaching. For face-to-face -face teaching, we conduct it twice in a semester, which is a two-week, and therefore it becomes more advantageous to those who are in employment so that they can come and upgrade and still they are keeping their jobs. For those who have done diploma, they have an opportunity to come and uh, undertake health education, which is a one year program. We have work in progress to start a higher diploma uh, training. Uh, next year, by March, we should be starting off a higher diploma uh, course in trauma. And so, that will also be another additional opportunity for career progression. There are also opportunities outside the country, in South Africa, where also they provide a higher training for those who have done diploma. They can still get opportunities outside the country. Uh, uh, South Africa, Australia, Uganda, those provide opportunities for career progression. The partners that we work along with we have Kenya Society of Orthopedic and Trauma Technologists, which is the CADA uh, that protects the interest of uh, certificate holders and diploma holders. So it is mandatory that uh, once the students have qualified, they must register with this association. And also for them to get employment, it is imperative that they register with this association because the employers will have uh, a need for each of the people who have qualified to be registered with Kenya Society of Orthopedic and Trauma Technologists. The other partner that we work so closely with is uh, Kenya Ortho Association of Orthopedic Surgeons, which is our key partners, particularly in training. Uh, when we take our students for practicum, it is the orthopedic surgeons who play a significant role in shaping the right uh, uh, competent orthopedic and trauma technologists and technicians. The other partners that we have, we have uh, Sajifam, which is a distributor in commodities to do with orthopedic and trauma, uh, particularly the casts, orthoban, and many other commodities which go along in management of orthopedic and trauma uh, cases. We have, of course, the government, uh, the government health facilities as our partners, who are very important, particularly when we are sending our students out for uh, attachment. And with that cooperation, they also play a significant role in ensuring that the students get the right skills, the right knowledge in places that we take them. Um, we also have the Minister of Health, which also is a significant partner. So welcome our students who are joining a Certificate in Orthopedic and Trauma Medicine, and Diploma in Orthopedic and Trauma Medicine. The choice you have made is a great choice and you will not regret. You are joining one of the leading middle level institutions which trains competent health providers. 
And so um, take note that the time that you'll spend here, for those who are doing certificate, two year, it will be a fruitful uh, duration and you'll enjoy the time. You'll ensure that also you get quality training and after you've qualified, you will be on high demand in the um, local market and even international market. So mine is just to welcome you. Feel free to interact with us. We have competent uh, trainers within KMTC and also in our health facilities that also mentor our students. Karibuni sana and feel most welcome. Thank you.